Let's see how we can write down more terms of a sequence when we are given a recursive formula like this, and we'll do five examples. The first one is a1 is equal to 2, and then an equals 3 times an minus 1 and n minus 2. And remember, this means the previous term. So to start, we will begin with the first term, which is given to be 2. And let's list out five more terms after this. Next, the formula says 3 times the previous, 3 times 2 is 6, and then after that minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So this right here is 3 times the previous, minus 2. Continue. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 2 is 10. So this right here, 3 times 4, minus 2. Continue, 3 times 10 is 30, minus 2 is 28. So that's 3 times 10, minus 2. And then 3 times 28 is 84, minus 2, we get 82. So that's 3 times the previous, minus 2. One more, 3 times 82 minus 2, we will end up with 244. So 3 times 82 minus 2. I didn't work this out in my head. I remember the answer. Now for the second one, we have a1 is equal to 50, an equals 100 plus 1 half times the previous term. Start with 50, take half of 50, which is 25 and then plus 100, so that's 125. So this is 100 plus half of the previous term. And then continue. Take half of 125, which is 62.5, and then add it with 100. 162.5. And then I'm just going to write down the answer for the rest. Take half of this and then add it with 100, we'll end up with 181.25, and then continue, we get 190.625, and last term we have 195.315. So as you can see, there's actually a very nice pattern for this right here, in the way that these numbers, in fact, they are approaching to 200. If you do more, then you'll see it. Now for number three, we have a1 is equal to one, and an equals one over an minus one, and then plus one. And this means just to do the reciprocal of the previous. So we start with the first term, which is one, and then right here, we will just do one over the previous, and then add one to it. So the following term is just two, then, we do 1 over the previous, and then plus 1. 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. And let's continue. We get 1 over 3 over 2 plus 1. So right here, let's do the reciprocal. So we have 2 over 3, and then plus 1, which is the same as 3 over 3. 2 plus 3, we get a 5, and then the denominator is 3. And I think some of you guys are going to see a pattern right here if you just use fractions. For the next one, what do we do? 1 over the previous, and then plus 1. This right here is just the reciprocal, which is 3 over 5, and then plus 1. Here, we are adding 5 over 5. 3 plus 5, we get 8, and then the denominator is 5. Okay, what's the next term? Do we see a pattern? Do we still have to do the fractions? Have a look. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 5, 5, 8. What's next? The 8 will be on the bottom, isn't it? Yes. And then, how do we get the 8 right here? In fact, you just add the top and bottom together. 3 plus 5 is 8. So here, you just do 8 plus 5, and we get 13. That's correct. If you look at the 5 over 3, the 3 is on the bottom right here, and then the 5 is 3 plus 2. And if you want to work that out, that's totally okay. 1 over the previous, and then add 1 to it. So that's the reciprocal, 5 over 8 here, and then plus 1. We are adding 8 over 8, right? So in fact, if you look at these numbers, 
right? They are actually from the Fibonacci sequence. And if you continue, keep on going right here, you will see that these fractions, they are approaching to the golden ratio, which is about 1.618. Next one, we have a1 is equal to 4 and an equals the previous divided by 2 plus the reciprocal of the previous. Starting with the first term, which is 4. And then for this right here, we do the previous, which is 4, and then divide it by 2. And then we add 1 over the previous, which is 4. So right here, you can, of course, work this out as fractions. But I will tell you, use decimals because you will see that there is a limit of the sequence. So I will just tell you, this right here, you end up with 2.25. Continue. We will do this, 2.25, divided by 2, and then add it with 1 over the previous, which is 2.25. So that will give us, again, use a calculator, 1.5694, if you run it to four decimal places. And then if you just keep on going with the same thing, I will tell you the next number is going to be 1.4219. And then 1.4142. And once you reach 1.4142, and if you keep on going, you will still end up with 1.4142. If you recognize what this number is, leave a comment down below and let me know. And yes, this is the limit to this sequence, which is really cool, right? Okay, last one. We have a1 equals 3 over 4, and an equals a times the previous minus 1 over 9 times the previous plus 2. Start with 3 over 4. For the next term, we do a times the previous, and then minus 1 over 9 times the previous, then plus 2. And let's just work this out and keep the answer in fraction, because that way you can actually see a very nice pattern. So this right here is a times 3 over 4, 6, minus 1 is 5, over 9 times 3 over 4, we get 27 over 4, and then plus 2 is the same as plus 8 over 4, and I will just multiply the top and bottom by 4, so that's 20 on the top, and all the 4s cancel, so that's 27 plus 8 is 35, reduced by 4, we get Reduce by 5, we get 4 over 7. So 4 over 7. And then continue. We do 8 times the previous. Minus 1 over 9 times the previous. And then plus 2. So let's see. 8 times that is 32 over 7. Minus 1 over that is 36 over 7. 7 my plus 2 and I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by 7 so I'm looking at 32 minus 7 over that is 36 plus 14 so that's 25 over 50 and of course we can reduce this to one half right so that's just one half I'm going to just keep it as one half right here huh 3, 4, 1, and then 4, 7, 2. All right, let's just do it again. For the next term, we do 8 times 1 half, minus 1 over 9 times 1 half, and then plus 2. So for this right here, that's 4 minus 1 is 3. Over, that's 9 over 2. Plus 2 is the same as 4 over 2. And let's multiply top and bottom by 2. So we get 6 over the 2's cancel. So that's 13. Cannot reduce that, which is 6 over 13. Now, maybe it's a good idea to come back here a little bit. Because as we can see, 3, 4, something, and then 6. 4, 7, and then something is equal to, and then give you the 13. Wouldn't it be nice if this is a 5? Yes. Wouldn't it be nice if this is a 10? Yes. Let's just go ahead and rewrite the 1 half as 5 over 10. 
so that you can see the pattern. Three, four, five, six, and the next one is what? Seven, and then the bottom is what? Four, seven, ten. Just ask three every time, right? So that's how we get 13, and then you will see that the next term is 16. And let's do one more time. The next number will be eight over you ask three, which is 19, and so on, so on, so on. You can also double check and triple check by doing this. I'm gonna leave that to you. But this right here, I think it's pretty clear. So the trick is rewrite the one half to five over 10 to follow the pattern. That's it.